as we're making a show about microbiology, I thought it was time that I introduced you to one of my favorite microbes, bioluminescent microbes. These are ones that glow in the dark. Well, that's great, but why are we at the beach? Because most of them live in the ocean. And why am I in a wetsuit? Because you're going to meet them. Yay! <laughs> glowing microbes use simple chemicals to make their light. There are lots of different glowing microbes living in the ocean. One helps anglerfish find their food, and another makes the Hawaiian bobtail squid invisible to predators. There's another called Photobacterium that lives in the guts of many fish, which is a great place for a microbe to live because it's full of food. We can even get these glowing microbes out of the fish and use them for all sorts of fun things. But I'm not gonna let you go into the water without an expert diver. Hi, Annika. Hey guys, thanks for inviting me along. We're at the beautiful Lee Marine Reserve and this was the oldest marine reserve in New Zealand. So what are we gonna see today? Well, we're gonna see some snapper, probably see some sandaggers rats. We've got some blue fish called blue mau mau and if we're lucky, we'll see some crayfish. Awesome. So you ready? Yeah. Let's go. A marine reserve means you're not allowed to go fishing means heaps of big fish. It's a bit scary, but Annika says there's nothing to be worried about. I'm still glad she's here with me though. Pretty soon we see all sorts of sea life, including some really big snapper. And tucked away underneath a rock, a crayfish. I grew up on a boat and I learned how to snorkel as soon as I could swim and then I slowly started to get more and more comfortable and then I started diving when I was about seven. So a marine reserve is really cool because no one is allowed to fish there or take any of the fish. So there's heaps of fish and the fish know that it's safe to live there. The snapper at Lee probably have plenty of glowing microbes inside them. But since we can't take them out of the reserve, we've come to the Auckland fish markets. Oh, that's what we want. Hi. <laughs> Can we get a snapper please, just a small one? This fresh snapper would make a yummy dinner, but mum's got other ideas. Swabbing the fish to get the bioluminescent microbes, which she's going to use to make glowing paint for an exhibition. Okay. Do some swabbing. Uh-huh. How about over here? Okay. So, what we're going to do, all right, we're going to swab around the gills. That's all right. Alright, and then we should go, okay, let's pop it in there. Ew, Mum, where are you putting that swab? Meanwhile, we've been looking at other things that glow in the dark, and our mushroom expert Bevan has something to show us. So what are these? Well, I know you're really big fans of bioluminescence, so these are glowing mushrooms. So what are they growing on? In, in Australia, these mushrooms grow on wood. And while we could get it growing on wood, it kind of is really hard and takes a long time and hard to sterilize. So we've come up with a trick and that's using toilet paper. So these rolls here are toilet paper rolls. When do they glow? These mushrooms are kind of strange in that they're glowing all the time. They don't turn on or off, they just glow, but we can't see them because it's day. So we can take them into the dark and see what they look like. So can we go see them glow? Let's go. Just like the kiwi house in the zoo, it takes a while for your eyes to adjust. So cool. I can't see anything. <laughs> but then you start to see them. It's really cool and would be amazing to see in the wild. Back at school and our glowing microbes from inside the snapper are ready to go. Mum's arranged for our class to be part of an art exhibition. So we paint the bacteria into our patterns on the Petri dishes. We've got some professional artists doing bigger paintings for the exhibition as well. Got slightly different textures. It's quite fun. Um, and I'm excited to see what it's going to look like once it's glowing. Uh, interesting challenge because firstly it's very hard to see where you've drawn with the liquid. I'm really excited because I'm a science geek at heart, so this is like right up my alley. 
The next morning, the bacteria has started to glow and the show is open to the public. I wonder what they'd think if they knew all this glowing stuff had actually come out of a fish's bum.